Hi everyone and welcome to my LASIK surgery vlog. I've decided to take you along with me through the entire process in case you were thinking of doing the surgery as well. I decided to go with Cognum Cube Eye Clinic which is located right off Cognum Station and this is the clinic. It's actually really cute. It gives me cafe vibes and I really love like the interior. It's super spacious and they were really friendly. After checking in, I filled out a form with all of my general information. Afterwards, I decided to play with the beverage machine which can make coffees and teas and it was actually really delicious. I even went back for a second one, no shame, and it's free for all customers which is great. Before testing, they had me put away my belongings in this locker which is really nice. Now we are in the testing room where we're going to be doing some extensive exams on our vision. They're going to be checking for the corneal thickness, dry eye syndrome, um, the corneal shape, and also a basic eye exam as well as many other exams to ensure that you are getting the proper treatment for you and that you can qualify for LASIK. There are different types of LASIK treatments. There is LASIK, which is considered to be the safest, but it does take a bit longer for recovery. And then there's LASIK and clear LASIK, which is the one that I went with. Now, before coming to this appointment, I was actually really nervous and I was contemplating whether or not I should come in because even though this is something that I've been wanting for a very long time, I didn't really know what to expect and it was so nice and comforting to know that I had really good people there with me and I'm just really happy that I chose this clinic because everyone was just very sweet and very helpful. So after all of my exams, it was finally time to meet Dr. Wan, and I really felt comfortable with him immediately. He was able to speak a bit of English, and I was able to express all of my concerns and the reasons why I decided to get LASIK surgery. Afterwards, he checked my eyes, and we went over every single exam that I had done that day, and he really went into detail and he just made sure that I understood all the data that he was presenting to me on the screen so I felt really good and I could tell that he really has a passion for what he does and he really cares about helping you progress your vision and I felt so comfortable and I felt so safe being um, there and just knowing that he would be the one that would be performing my surgery and just made me feel really calm he let me ask as many questions as I needed to and I did not feel rushed at all. It was actually one of the longest um, sit downs that I've had with a doctor in a very long time. So now I'm sitting down with a staff member where they're going to go over all of the LASIK surgery treatments that I qualify for and that's when I choose the one that I think would be perfect for me um, with consideration of cost and also recovery time. So now the moment we've all been waiting for, the surgery day, and I'm not gonna lie, I was extremely, extremely nervous because having a laser go into your eyeball is probably one of the most scariest things uh, to go into, but I felt very comfortable with the doctor, so yeah, that definitely helped. And I'm just here with my wonderful and amazing translator. Her name is Kayla. If you are ever in Seoul and you need to get any type of surgery done or you're meeting any doctors, she's definitely the person that you want to go to. She's super friendly. Um, she speaks perfect English, of course, and she is just amazing. She asks questions that sometimes I forget to ask or maybe I didn't think of asking that are really important. She just has a lot of experience in this industry and I highly recommend her so I'll leave her information down below for you guys um, but now we are in the testing room they're just doing some last minute uh, testing before I see the doctor and get ready for my surgery All right, so here she is putting some eye drops that are actually going to numb my eyes so that I don't feel anything. And yeah, I'm just here saying hi to the doctor. I actually canceled my appointment the week prior because I had COVID. So he was actually uh, very relieved and happy that I came this time. Um, but yeah, he's just taking like a small needle and he's going to lightly 
poke my eyeball with the needle and I know that sounds kind of weird and like painful but it actually wasn't at all because my eyes were very numb and he was just trying to see if I experienced any pain um, because that's the sensation that I would be experiencing during the surgery. Um, here I'm with Kayla again and she's helping me go over some last minute documents and now it is time to go in the surgery room. Oh my god, I feel so nervous just looking back at this footage. Um, my heart was pounding, but they had this really cool lounge that you can just kind of hang out in. And now it is the moment we've really all been waiting for, the surgery. So here we're just prepping for surgery. She's adding some drops and making sure that I have no makeup on my eyes before I go inside. And as you can see, I'm like really nervous. My heart really was pounding super fast. So now we're in the surgery room and they just had me lay down on the bed. They had the cutest big stuffed animal and it really does help so that you're not like moving your arms a lot or fidgeting and you can just kind of squeeze the bear if you feel any pain. But I promise you there is absolutely zero pain. The only thing I felt was just a lot of pressure and I've heard these horror stories of people smelling like um, something was burning I did not have that at all and also like just little tiny pokes kind of like what he did with the needle earlier in the video and it didn't hurt at all and it was actually really quick I think I was in there for maybe about 15 minutes and yeah it was over just like that now I'm just gonna visit the doctor one last time before I go home just to make sure everything went well so he's just asking me how I feel one week has passed and now it is time for me to see the doctor to take off the protective lenses he applied during the surgery and to make sure that everything looks good and healthy and to make sure that I also feel comfortable and yeah so they're just doing some basic eye exams so here are the doctors just explaining how I should continue putting in my eye drops and that my vision will get better as time goes on I'm very excited for the results and I will be doing a one month post-op video so stay tuned for that and thank you for watching